Hi everyone, this is Mr. Woods. Hey, I'm going to be going over all of the problems that we did with uh, in class. Just real quick. So, 11 times 11, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, but wait, I should always put that 0 here, so I know where to put that 1 right here. So, 1 times 1 is 1, add it up, 1, 2, one. There you go. Let's take a look at here. So 15 times 20 or 20 times 15, however you want to look at it. Zero. Zero. And then I put this zero here because we're starting in this tens column. Two times five is ten. Two times one is one plus another one is three. And I, I add it all up. And it comes out to 300. There's another way we can look at this as well. It could be 15 times 2 times 10, right? So 15 times 2 times 10. Well, we can do, we can do that because it's it's the same thing as 15 times 20 because 2 times 10 is 20. We're just Expanding it out a little bit more. So 15 times 2, that's 30. And then any number that you multiply by 10, you just add it at 0 at the end. So that's going to be equal to 300 as well. 300. So with that explanation, 20 times 10 is going to be 200. I'm not going to even work that one out because it's just going to be a bunch of zeros out there. But there you go. There's your 200. Let's look at this here. 83 times 15. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 8 is 40 plus 1 is 41. So when we move into this tens column here to multiply, we automatically should just put a 0 here. So we know. So 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 8 is 8. Let's add this up. There's 5. 4. 8 plus 4 is 12, 1,245. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. So 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 5 is 5. Okay, 1 times 0 is, oh, let's put that 0 for that holder there. So 0, 0, 1 times 5 is 5. There we go. I have 550. So I'm adding all that up. Okay. 64 times 10. Again, it's just, we just add a zero onto the end. So boom, 4, 640. I don't have to do the math. All I do is just any number multiplied times 10, I just add a zero to the end. That's all I did. And that's, you can do the math if you want to, but you don't need to. You just have to trust the process. Okay, let's move on to the next one here. Oh boy, let me go to the next. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're going to do some division. And here's this example. So when you see it like in this format, you should automatically just say, you know what, I just need to put it into this long division format. So 56 divided by 24. What goes in here? What is being divided? So 56 is being divided by 6. And we're dividing it by 24. Now, let's look at this. So 24, instead of doing 24, let's do 25. And we're trying to get close to 56. So 25 plus 25 is 50. So I should probably start out with 2 because I cannot divide 5 by 24. You can put a placeholder here as 0. Now, when you write it out, it's just going to be the number after it. So, so 2 times 24, right? So I have 2 times 24. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 2 is 4. And I'm subtracting. But I have to borrow, so I'm going to make that a 4. 10 from here, so this is 16 ones minus 8 ones is going to be 8. 
So my answer is two remainder eight. And that's what I'm sticking with. Let's look at this one. Again, let's set it up properly. So it's 78 divided by 14. So when I do my division sign here, it's 78 divided by 14. I just want to clean up that 7 just a little bit. There we go. Make, it look, make sure it's there. All right. So I'm going to change color so we can see what's going on. Well, again, 14 is an awkward number to work with, so that's close enough to 15. And let's go, okay, well, I know that um, there's 114, 214s. I'm sorry, 115, 215, so 2 times 15 is 30. If I double that, so I would have 1, 4, 15s is 60. It's still less than this, and I can fit in another 15. So there's 5 15s is going to be 75. But wait, I only have 14. So it's 14, 28, right? Or that's 50. Another 28, or another 28, okay, is, I'm sorry, that's going to be 15 and 15, that's 30, plus 15 and 15, that's 60, but wait, that's one more than, so that, what is, what is that going to be, what is that going to be, what do you think, so 28, 28 is going to be, it has a 6 on the end, it's going to be 56. So then I add another 14, so 56, this is that fifth one right here, is going to be 60 because of the 4, and then 70. So I could say 5. Here, that's what I did here. That's going to be 70. Now I subtract that, that's going to be 8. So my answer is 5. Remainder, wait a minute, eight, yeah, there we go, five remainder eight, interesting, I have remainder eights on both of them, all right, let's take a look at this, again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set this up, I'm going to do my division bar here, 94 divided by 37, so it's 94, Nine looks more like a nine divided by 37. Now I know that three times 30 is 90, but I would have to add another 21 there. So that's 111 or something like that. So, so now I can't do that, but two times 37, right? But what's 35 plus 35 is 70. And then we have to add four more. So that's going to be 74. So again, zero, and because I can't divide nine by thirty, so I'm going to do this by I'm going to multiply it by two. That's going to be two. I'm going to have seventy-four. Okay, uh, it's going to be, and then four minus four is twenty. So my answer is two. Remainder 20. Let me just circle that here. And put a box or a circle around here. See how that goes? I don't have anything more than that. Oh, yes. I did want to go over a couple of things. So, uh, I added this on to uh, the last group. And we did three-digit uh, multiplication. So, if I had nine... 78 multiplied by 4, 24. Multiplication sign, I'm going to change my colors. So I'm going to go through. Again, I want to have my columns all worked out. I'm going to add some extras here just because I know it's going to be a large number. Change this to green here. So 4 times 8 is 32. Let me put a little green 3 here, 2 here, 4 times 7 is 28, 29, 30, 31. 
4 times 9 is 63 plus 3. I'm sorry, it's not 63. 4 times 9 is 36 plus 3 is going to be 39. 3, 9, 1, 2. Now, since I'm working in the tens column, I'm going to put a, automatically put a zero there. So 2 times 8 is 16. So I put my 6 here. I cross that out and put a 1. So now I do 2 times 7 is 14, 15. Now I cross that out and put a 1 there. 2 times 9 is 18, 19. 1, 9. Now I know I'm going to put a zero here. I'm working here over here, so I have to put a zero here as well. But wait, I've already calculated what four times 978 is. So all I have to do is just transfer these numbers to one, nine, three. We can do the math. Four times eight is 32, two, three. Four times seven is 28, 29, 30, 31 is one, and then three. Four times nine is 36, right? Plus three is gonna be that 39, and that would put it right here. So it's the same number, it's just translated over a couple more because it's actually 400 instead of just four times that. I just add two zeros to the end of it. Okay, so I'm gonna add this up. It's gonna be two, seven, and this is 16. So I'm going to put that there, there. Nine. That's a 9. So it's 10, 14. There's a 10. And then 1 here. That turns into a 4. 1, 2, 3. 414,672. That's it for this video and math review for multiplication and division.